Hey there guys, this is Massive Dynamic here. Thanks for watching. This is Factorio Towns episode number 51. And this episode is a little bit different than most of our previous episodes. I think we're going to do uh, some actual playtime video here. And uh, we're building a new town, which is located right here, which is in kind of the south area of the new township. And we're going to be building our Productivity 1 modules. So I've got the town kind of established. And I just need to bring in our supply train so that we can start uh, building the rest of the town production area and etc. So we have to run over here to Bentham and order our trains in. Uh, I know that we need track and... Um, that is a uh, railroad track and let me just set this to passenger present and and so that the train sits there and let's see we also will need miscellaneous items so let's get this one which has the belts and stuff in it and no i need to do a map view here just to show that it takes a while to there we go that's good for that one takes some time to get one of these episodes together by the time you get all the trains in figure out all the production that oh, i did it again i don't want to do that okay i did it twice i want to do this yeah sometimes it's hard to think and talk at the same time it's always hard to think and talk at the same time for me so there we go if i add passenger present and get that to and okay there we go okay that should get us everything that we need in here um and yeah so for productivity modules we're going to have to bring in green circuit and uh, green circuits and red circuits and we will need a town name so let's see we're going to have two inputs so we don't need this input. We can get rid of it altogether. And then we'll have a single output. And my Spectron is full again. Clean that out. Uh, single output. So we have to decide which output we want to use. I think we'll probably use the end the, the end one the farthest one that's too much i want to go right there we'll remove that and we'll remove that we won't need it we'll just need the one output so let's see we do need some train track and I think we're okay on beacons and things but we can always yeah we have beacons um we'll probably need some modules i don't know what's in the black spider tron he's got some modules with him so we should be okay grab the track and finish that up first and then we have to think about a town name so that we can start naming our stations and start bringing in our raw materials or let's see not really raw materials intermediate products that is i guess for making modules circuits that we'll need um let's see where should the nameplate go on this town i guess where have i been putting right down there yeah that's probably the best place for it let's over there and clean things up a little bit with some gas grenades there we are one tree oh there we go it went away all right so town name for making modules what would be a good name for this town Let's call it, I don't want to dwell on this too long. Let's call it
we'll call it uh I, oh, my mind is completely blank on town names Ooh. all right let's pick a letter we'll call it uh let's see i need these right here i think i have some one two right here all right it's going to be a letter that starts looking like this and let's see okay it's going to start with an r looks like i think i did no i did that right um r let's call it reggie all right that's what it is reggie don't know how that came to me but that's that's what i got so that's what we're going with so that'd be r-e-g-g-i-e -E. and that just uh just came to me so that's what we're going with Then we need an IE, so we'll go IE, and then we'll do that, and we'll finish it like this. Okay, I have to always choose a town name first because. I have to, oh, that's too many. Oh, too late. Give me that one and we're done. Because I have to bring in the supply trains. So it's kind of imperative that we name the town. So this one's going to be Reggie. And this is going to be productivity modules. Where are they? And that's going to be out. So we go O. U and T like that, and we'll add a train there. I saw all the cargo wagons, there they are. Okay, and so we don't need, yeah, we do need that station because we're gonna have to bring in fuel. So this one will be Reggie. And this will be green circuits. And that'll be in. Okay, and then this one will be Reggie red circuits. Oop, man, what did I do? Don't know what I did. I wanted to copy that and paste it on there. Yeah, and then change that to red circuits. And there we go, red circuits in. Okay. Then all we have to do is find our green circuit production, which is where in the new towns is green circuit production. I don't remember. I could. Oh, here they are. Okay. So that's Harrisburg. So there's only one train. So we'll add Reggie. Uh, green circuits in to that one. And we'll make it activity or empty cargo okay that takes care of that one and then we'll put our limiter blueprint on there so that it only calls a train when it needs one okay next thing we do is go to our red circuit production town which is where don't remember uh, 
don't remember where the fuck here it is. Where I put everything. Okay, Venice. Okay, so we'll do Venice. And there should be just one train, so we'll add Reggie to that one too. Oop, R G L O R. Reggie in. There we go. And we'll add inactivity for empty cargo. Okay, that should be good to go. Okay, so now we have our two inputs set. We have our output set. And then it's just a matter of creating our production blueprint. So we know we want to have it fully beaconed. All right, so we'll take a look at that process, which is to set up a beacon and then copy it. Now we have, oops. That was a miss. Move that one back. We have been using this beacon strategy where we make sort of a small box like this and then put our production in the middle of it. And we have our two inputs and one output. And that way we get all uh 12 beacons on our production and um let's see can we beacon i forget if we can we can beacon this no we can only speed module it i mean yeah module it. okay it's gonna be speed modules so now uh what, what i was gonna say was that we could instead of doing it like that we could do it like this where we take this would give us more room for inputs and outputs and while still getting fully beaconed so notice all three beacons still hit the assembly machine and it gives us a little bit more room we could get two belts in like this and actually we could even have, uh, no, we couldn't fit an output there, but we could get an output here and here, or we could have like a belt here in, in, uh, in, and then an out here, uh, which works just fine, but it takes up more space. And I just kind of, I don't know. I just kind of like the challenge of fitting everything in a tighter space. So that's the way I've been doing it, and we'll do it that way here. Also, since I know that we can get everything we need in by doing it like this, and we'll usually go like this, and we can actually do um, the in and out like this. Um, we can put the input on a single belt and that goes out like that. And then usually what I do is I have an output and an input and then I alternate where I'll put a power, what do you call it? Power, um, what do you call those? Those are called substation right there. And then I'll just alternate, and of course there's autosave. Thank you. Autosave. Okay. Um, so I'll alternate input or the output like this. So that we get, we use both sides of the belt. And then we only need, let's see, this one is the input, so we don't need that one there. And we have the single input, so that could be actually closer. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Got a little carried away there. That goes there. Okay, that's my input there. 
And then we just copy this. And like I said in a previous episode, I really, for whatever reason, don't ever calculate the exact number. That was wrong. The exact number of um, assemblers I need and beacons. I always just kind of slap it together. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. Why change now? I say. So then we will run up here and grab. I don't need that anymore. It's like we're out of beacons and. Yeah, we're, we're okay on beacons, but we do need modules. Do we have any modules? Yeah, we're out. We have be plenty of beacons, so we just need modules right there. And we'll probably, let's grab half a stack of those. And let's grab just a few more belts. And that should do it. Just so that we have everything that we need to get this operational. Okay, those trains are not unloading because I forgot to hook up power. All right, but that's not a problem. We just do like that right there. That right there. That gets us power and that gets everything going. Okay. So then the next thing that we do is, yeah, even though that's a blue belt, we don't necessarily have to have a blue belt input. So we'll take, first of all, we will add on, let's see, do I have that? Yeah, there we go. Let me cut this off here. Oh, there we go. Cut that off like that. This is our three to three balancer. It goes there. Um, so let's assume that we're going to have three. Complete productions here. I, I don't know if we'll need three complete productions here, but for now we're going to assume that we are. So we'll bring all three of these out like this. And then we'll just bring. So these will come over here. Let's see. Let's do this like this. And we'll turn, let's say one more like that. And then we'll go this way. Too far. Something like that. Tie this together. And then these will go. Let's see if we go out. Let's go out. And out like that. So then that one goes like that. That one goes like that. Oops. Yep, I forgot to. This was part of the plan all along, and I just forgot. That goes like that, and that goes like that. So that that goes. And that one actually goes like, oh yeah, wait a minute. Yep, this is what happens when I try to, uh, try to think and talk at the same time. Things go poorly. All right, let's just clean that up real quick. All right. 
there we go so now we have that like that and then we'll take these three belts like this the first one will go here okay and then all we have to do is get a power pole tie the power in and jump back in the spider and see where how we're doing on production here and all right let's wait and see if we get enough circuits all the way down to the end Yeah, it actually looks like we're running out of circuits right about yeah right about here we're running completely out um but since we put these on a blue belt and we have two red belts feeding the blue belt we should really have a full blue belt so what we could do is take this like this and then that would technically be just a red belt there and this is where i want to end up right here and go like this And this is going to eventually run out. I don't know why I did that like that. That should go as far as it'll go, which is right there. And then that's to... Uh, where we want to be right here all right nope further still okay so okay so we have to alternate every other one just to get far enough reach and i think this is where we're going to end up right here so the question is how do we tie that in there well we just take out these two beacons right here and we'll take that take that stretch that out like that and that like that and like that okay so now there we have it now we can actually add at least one more and that means we have to get rid of some more trees All right, now looks like it looks like we have a full red belt coming out. It's hard to tell because we've had production stalled or production running while the output was stalled. So we'll take that red belt there. All right, and then we're just going to take that. Like that. We're going to come up here. And here's our input. So we'll put our. That's the wrong one. That thing on there like that. So we've got our inputs. Which will go like this. And that right there. Okay, and we'll take that. 
Ah, that's okay. Oh, I missed again. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we can just take this whole thing like this. And then copy it two more times. Doing that way is probably better. So then we can just bring our other two belts up like this. Okay, then it's just a matter of, uh, of getting the rest of our beacons and modules in. And of course, that means that we're going to need more power because we did cut off all the supply of nuclear fuel to the reactors. So even though they're running now, they will eventually run out and that will mean we need more power. So right now we need 3.2 gigawatts or 3.8 gigawatts and we're producing uh I think we're producing right at 3. Point, is it 3.2 or 3.8? Of course it's going to be nighttime so the wrong time to look but I believe it would let me check on the hour production here. Yeah, 3.2 is where we're running so we need to add a bunch of more solar panels so we come over here um, check on where our yellow robot is which is probably over here yep and we add so we need um, that 0.6 gigawatts so i think each um the yellow spectron holds a thousand solar panels times 60 thousand watts 60 kilowatts and that's um six megawatts per every time the yellow Spidertron unloads, he puts down six megawatts of power. And so we need 10 of those to give us 600 megawatts or 0.6 gigawatts. So that's the how we spend the rest of our time is making sure we have enough power. So that means, yeah, we have to find a room for the rest of our power plant I haven't decided where that's going to go yet but i'm thinking we just continue it right across here at this this line of what is that uh longitude here continue it straight across there and um yeah that's probably the plan for that so we run our spidertron over here and actually we can just send them to run and that reminds me, I could take the purple Spidertron, which is this one, and have him fill in the rest of that landfill while we're at it. And the last thing that we'll do for the episode, um, just to show you guys how this goes, is we'll run up here to, I don't even have to go up there, actually. I can just go over here and grab that train. Which is, you know, I do have to look because I don't remember. I think it's this one. Let's see. This one goes, yeah, to Modulus. And we'll send them up to Modulus to get a new load of modules. And I think that is all that we need to finish. Except for to bring the fuel train down here. 
to get fuel in for this train, which is easy enough. And we need a radar right here. So we'll probably add a, it's probably easier to just add a station. Yeah, I can't connect that. Go ahead and let that start filling up. There's no reason not to. Do I have another station? I don't, but I can build one. There's actually one in the train over there, but instead of running over there, I'll just assume build one. Put that down. So this becomes, what was the name of this town? Reggie. This becomes P and Reggie. And we add the fuel icon. And then we go find the fuel train, which is easy to find because it's based here at Kelton. It has this big yellow bar and it starts right here. So we grab this, grab it, grab the schedule, add Reggie fuel stop, which is way down here. Uh, and then it'll be Reggie. Reggie fuel in activity. So let's come here next. Usually I move this up in kind of where it would go in order, which should be around grills after grills somewhere. That would be fine. And then we unload the fuel, which means we need to add. We could do it a couple ways. We could do it several ways. Um, usually. I just do it kind of this, this way like this. And add an unloader here with one of these. One, two, I don't have any chests. Build some chests. Set that for fuel. And then just run a belt. I kind of hate to belt it over there. I need to set that to one. I don't need stop. I don't need all of it. Okay, there, that's plenty. Okay, go ahead, go away. There you go. Because what I'll do is I'll do this. And I'm out of underground belts. You gotta be kidding me. Use them all up. So I'll just ghost it in like that. There we go. Set that for one. And then I'll just take a couple of red wires. And I'll only Turn that on if this chest is empty. So this is if we're out of fuel. There's less than one. That and then I'll since I ran out of belts and stuff, let me pick these up here. Put those in that chest. Where are you going? There. They're going in the train. That's where they're going. Okay, so we're going to do that. Like that. Okay. Uh, so that won't unload the train when it comes back. And then all I have to do is run up there, grab some belts, and finish filling things in. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. Now you see the work that's involved in building a new town, and then there's the matter of filling in any floor tiling that I want to do and building the tattoo, which I would grab from modulus right here. We'll grab that tattoo. Which I kind of like that tattoo anyway. That's a good looking one, I think. And put it down here on the 
below the town name right there. Kind of center it up, make it look right. Yeah, so that's how it goes, guys. That's uh, town after town after town. We just kind of follow those same steps. And now you see how how we do it. So thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.